every single little thing that I have on my desk has contributed in some small way to me feeling or being more productive. And in this video, I wanted to share my current desk setup. Here are all the things that I've been using that have made my desk setup special to me. And I've split this video up into two sections, core peripherals and feel good peripherals, starting with core peripherals. So the first place to start is the standing desk that I have. It's from a company called Delonda and it's their Oak electric standing desk. 140 centimeters by 70 centimeters. So it's not the biggest desk in the world, but it is fairly quiet when operating it up and down. And when I'm at my desk, I'd say I stand at least 50% of the time. So it comes in really, really useful. Just behind the desk are Gobi light strips that I've taped to the back. And it just gives it more of a warm, 3D looking feel just brings the desk to life. So I'd highly recommend them if you want to create more of a mood around your desk setup. I also automate them to come on every morning and turn off every evening as well. Next is the chair and it's a chair by Herman Miller. The model is called Mirror and the color of it is shadow gray. And it's a custom chair that I bought secondhand from eBay for about 320 pounds, so about $400. And it goes to show how cheap you can get some of these chairs. You don't need to spend thousands and thousands of dollars on Herman Miller chairs. Buy one second hand. This one was in great condition and it's super, super comfortable. There are so many different adjustments and things. I don't have any complaints. It's maybe a step down from the Herman Miller Aeron range. Like I say, I stand for half of the time, so I really don't need like some super duper chair. It's great for what I need it for. Everything is powered by the MacBook Pro M3 Pro. This configuration has one terabyte of SSD capacity and 32 gigabytes of RAM. I recently bought it, so I'll probably do a review for it later on. But suffice to say, it's a complete beast and does exactly what I need it to do, particularly when it comes to video editing on Final Cut Pro. And it's standing on a vertical stand by Oakywood. Really, really nice stand. It's solid. It's good quality. I really like the padding that you can put in between so that your laptop can fit snug and fully vertical. And it just makes it really easy to dock your laptop in and out of your desk setup because I don't want to spend all of my time just in this room. So next up is the Dell Mod monitor. It's a 4K 27 inch panel. It's the U2723 QE ultra sharp and it's a 60 hertz monitor. Honestly, the panel itself is beautiful. It's maybe one step down from the Apple monitors, but it's probably the next best thing you can buy outside of buying an Apple monitor. What I love about it is the one cable setup that it enables me to have. So I've got one Thunderbolt cable running from my laptop to the monitor itself. And behind the monitor is a USB-C and USB-A hub where I can connect all of my other peripherals so I can keep everything hidden and snug behind the monitor and I don't need to worry about cable management and things looking really ugly and having to connect and disconnect loads of things from my laptop when I want to take it away. The monitor itself is on this Vivo single arm monitor mount. It's actually harder than you think to find an all white monitor mount. I found this one on Amazon. It's really solid. It's highly adjustable and yeah, it fits in with the clean aesthetic that I've got going on. Another pair of core peripherals are the keyboard and the mouse and for this combo, I've got the new fee Halo. 75 mechanical keyboard with night breeze switches. And I've got the accompanying wrist rest that comes with it as well, which is really important. I really love the Ionic white aesthetic. I thought it'd go really well on this desk setup and it looks really, really nice. I've changed up the escape key to a more mint green kind of escape key. I don't know why, but like mechanical keyboards seem to just help me feel more productive as I'm typing. It certainly slows me down a little when I'm touch typing, but just the feeling of having a mechanical keyboard and the noise it makes. To go along with that actually is a really quiet, silent mouse. It's the MX Master 3S from Logitech. And you probably already know about this mouse if you've watched any other desk setup video before. But what I really love about it is its silent operation and that side scroll wheel, particularly when you're in an application like Final Cut or Logic or any other context where you need to scroll horizontally, it is such a time saver and so intuitive to use. I highly recommend this mouse if you're in the creative industry and you want to boost how efficient you are with navigating different applications. Applications. Next is the feel good peripheral section. And in this, it's basically everything else that you can see. So let's break it down. First, we've got the Oakywood felt and cork desk mat in gray. This is the medium size. I feel like it's the perfect size to just cover my keyboard and mouse area. I think it just brings a bit more to the desk and makes the desk look a little bit more pleasing to the eye, which again, makes me feel good when I approach my desk and I wanna sit down and do some work. I find Oakywood to be a really, really great company. And they're almost like the Grove made of Europe. So if you're outside 
outside of the US and you're looking for a, an equivalent kind of company, Oki Wood is a really, really good alternative. Next is the microphone and I've got the Shure MV7 in white. It's a really cool USB-C microphone and I often get told in conference calls at work that my voice feels fuller and more present and that really helps with building rapport with people online in, in remote situations. And it's standing on the Elgato Wave mic arm in low profile. I really love the fact this is a low profile microphone arm. A, it's in white, which again is really hard to find. Also, the fact it's low profile means it doesn't hang across your face. And that can often be quite obstructive when you're on a conference call. It can make you feel a bit like a DJ of some sort. So actually, I quite like the fact that it's shallow and therefore people on the other side of a camera can actually see just your microphone in front of your mouth. It's really nice as well because I can just put it to the side once I'm done with it. And it's kind of out of my way, out of my vision, and I can focus again on what's on the screen. Next is this small tray again from Oki Wood. They make a whole bunch of little trays. I've also got this phone holder tray as well, and they actually magnetically connect. So if you get a whole bunch of them, they all can kind of connect together. It's a really nice, good quality oak tray. It goes really well with my desk setup. And I put my AirPods Pro there. So it's kind of where my AirPods Pro normally live rather than just having them on the desk. There's a little place for me to organize my stuff. I've also got this fake grass plant pot, which I know loads of people have. This one's actually from a British retailer called Marks and Spencer. It's quite a tall one and it just adds a bit of greenery, adds a bit of life to the desk. There are scientific studies that suggest that actually having plants and natural things around you help boost your feeling of happiness and therefore your productivity. Alongside that, I have a scented candle. This is from a company called Sand and Fog and they're quite expensive candles, but they're really, really nice. They last a really long time. This is the ocean and sea salt version and it just adds to the vibes really. So any kind of candle will do, but this one was gifted to me and it's a really, really nice one. I think aesthetically it goes well with the other elements of the desk. And you've probably already noticed my Funko Pop. This is Carl from the Disney movie Up. I really love this Funko Pop. I really love this character because the character reminds me not to waste my life. In the movie, Carl has a bunch of ambitions that he wants to achieve with his partner. And unfortunately his partner dies, spoiler alert, and he doesn't get to experience them with his partner whilst he was young. And I just use this motivation when I'm working to keep me going and keep me driven to not end up like poor old Carl over here. Of course, it's important to stay hydrated. I have a Lark bottle. It's a swig top version in green. It's really, really nice. It keeps water cool for 24 hours, which I'd say is its biggest feature. It's big enough that you only need to refill it a couple of times in order to get the adequate amount of water intake per day. And it just looks really nice on my desk. I love this shade of green. It's sitting on top of an Ikea cork coaster. And this just goes with the aesthetic really nicely. So I thought I'd buy a pack of these and I've got a few of these dotted around. Finally, I've got an Ikea Scadis pegboard. I've done a video about this pegboard, which I'll leave at the end of this video if you want to have a look at how it boosts my productivity. But it looks really nice too. Again, it's in white and it just holds a whole bunch of stuff that I don't want to put away because I want quick, easy access to them. And finally, there's the Displate Metal Poster. Now, Displate are a company who make thousands upon thousands of different types of posters. And what makes them unique is that they make them from this metal sheet. And these metal sheets then magnetically attach to your wall via magnetic stickers. And it's really good because it doesn't damage your walls at all. So if you want to take the poster off, you can. And then you can rip the stickers off your wall and they don't do any damage. They leave nothing behind on your wall. They are fairly expensive. I think they are well worth it if you are looking for that exact right look because the chances are they have something that you're looking for on there. So there you have it. That's my desk setup. It's fairly simple. It's fairly clean. It's fairly minimalist, which is exactly how I like it. Leave a comment on what you liked most about my setup. And let me know if there's anything you think I should be trying as I look to change my desk setup later this year. As ever, if you found this video valuable, please hit the like button. And if you want me to be your personal productivity coach, please subscribe. Until next time, stay productive.